Good day, Shabbos to you, and I hope you're all well. Happy Friday, everybody. And Mazel Tov this week. Mazel Tov to Hanit and Peter Allen on Noam's Bar Mitzvah. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Emma and Oliver Shoffron on Florence's Bat Mitzvah. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Karen and Michael Hirsch on the birth of a granddaughter. Mazel Tov. Daughter to David and Hannah. And to anyone else who has a birthday, anniversary, or any other simcha in the coming week. Mazel Tov. We wish Shafur Shlema to anyone who's unwell. Shlema. And we wish long life to Sally Kaisner on the sad loss of her mother, Pamela Spencer. And to Marion Cohen and Dan Cohen and Gordon and family on the sad loss of their husband and father, Gerald Cohen. Mm -hmm. And we wish long life to anyone observing a yacht site in the coming week. That's right. Uh, any shout outs this week? Uh, yes, we have a shout out. We're going to have a shout out. It is November 2022. And I would like to give a special shout out for the past two years for all the volunteers who've helped to prepare and pack the US Chesed hot meals. Oh, so amazing. thank you. Yeah, it's been two years now. Amazing. So thank yeah, you thank to you all of you. And uh, we look forward to carrying on. Yes, yeah, much appreciated by those. Who I'm not going to name them all because I don't want to leave anybody out, as they always say, but really, really appreciate. It's really incredible volunteering work and really makes a difference. We, have, we do get emails from people saying how much they appreciate their hot meal. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so Shabbos this week. Uh, Shabbos begins and candle lighting is at 3.52. Friday night services are at Croxtel, Yavna and in Elstree at that time. And at Croxtel this week we have a chicken soup kiddish. Yes. Shabbos morning at 9.30 at Croxtel and Yavna and is in a mood also at Croxtel. At Minichol we followed, will be following kiddish. And then at Croxtel there will be a shear at 4.40. I'll be looking at the differences between Ashkenazi and Sephardi practices. That is your Sephardi roots. Absolutely. Yes, you can tell. Um, and Shabbos ends and Mara will be at 4.57 at Croxtel and at Yavna. Okay, lots of them going on. Okay, so straight after Shabbat, we're back with our online Habdallah with Rabbi Finn. That's, yes. at, uh, f that's online at 5.25. Something this week, yes. And then at 5.45 till 6.30 is base, where mums and sons and dads and daughters can learn together. That's yes. That's at Croxdale for and, primary school children. Yeah, and this week we've got hot chocolate and cookies for the children. Great prizes again and a raffle. Please come along, it's been great. Uh, and next week, Monday, is the last chance to book for the Empty Nesters lunch on the 26th of November. That's right. And uh, on Sunday, it is Mitzvah Day. Lots going on in the community. Lots of things you can do to help. So um, go online and see all the things which uh, we are doing for Mitzvah Day on Sunday in the community. Okay. Uh, share a Torah idea with you tonight? Yes. Okay. Um, so the, you know, the Torah tells us that God blessed Abraham with everything, which simply means that he felt the blessing in everything he had. Now, Rav Moshe Steinberg explains, actually, that someone could actually own a lot of possessions but have no blessing from them, as it gives them no pleasure but just causes them constant worry. Whereas Avraham experienced God's blessings from everything that he owned and he felt that he lacked nothing. Now, this idea is similar to what the, the Shalar explains from the verse in Tehillim that says, those who seek Hashem shall not lack any good. Now, it doesn't say they'll have everything, but it says, but what it means is they'll feel so blessed by God they won't feel like anything is missing. And so we see that the greatest blessing in life is to know that God blesses us with everything that we truly need. Okay. Amen. Okay, anything else? Um, and now for something completely different. Something completely different. Yes, well, you know, a lot of you may have been wondering. You may Don't have switch seen, off yet. Yes, you may have been seeing there have been some emails and some flyers around the shore in the community. Um, something to do with Rick. Yeah. This is R-I-C-K. Never going to give you up. No, we're not yes, doing Rick Roll. Not Rick Roll, so. no, no. But do you know what R I C K stands for? Uh, I, I, it's Rick. I know how to spell Rick. Okay, right. Well, Rick actually is. It stands for something. Okay. It stands for <gasps> drum, drum roll. roll. Drum roll. I can't do a drum roll. <laughs> Reimagining. Reimagining. That's the R and the I. Right. Reimagining. Re Croxdale. Kiddish. Ah, oh, R-I-C-K. It all has been revealed. You know, everyone... Now you know. That's if right. If you've been watching this. Yes. Uh, and it's going to be a brand new concept in Kiddish at Croxdale. Everyone have a chance starting on Shabbat morning, the 3rd of December. Uh, not long to go. A new style Kiddish will be rolled out to the community. And is this going to be every Shabbat? Well, no, it's not. Uh, Rick is only going to be there when there isn't a Simcha at Croxdale. Although Simcha families are more than welcome to choose a Rick for their Simcha Kiddish. And what I understand, there's going to be a hot taster dish for both meat eaters and vegetarians. Oh, so Something nice. with those with a sweet tooth. And it can all be washed down with a very good quality single malt and other spirits. Oh, the spirits, right. Any other questions? Uh, and the gluten-free and the, veg the vegans? Absolutely. Vegans? Okay, I've got to cover Absolutely. everybody. Okay, Absolutely. excellent. 
Yes, so that is Rick. There you go. Great. Uh, Look forward our... to meeting Rick on the 3rd of December. Look forward to and it. And importantly, Enjoy. meeting as many people from the community who'd like to sample the new Kiddish. Yeah, and until then, we wish you a good Shabbos. Good Shabbos.